So I have a room in my house that I've never shown you guys before. So come into my daughter Annabelle's room. The attic to my house is in my daughter's closet and that's where I store all of my Christmas decor. You guys have asked to check it out. I've never showed you because honestly, it's kind of a mess, but I wanna take you in there. We're gonna go through all of my Christmas decor that's been sitting there for years. We're gonna pick out the worst items that we can take and create something amazing with them. I hope that I can give you a little bit of inspiration that you can use in your house to maybe take some of your old decor and recreate it. There is literally this tiny door here here. I don't know why it's a tiny door. I don't know why it's not a full-size door, but this is how I go into my attic. At least every time I go in, I hit my head. Are we ready? Okay. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can get into this. Okay. Now so I, I have a light over here. All right, I got this one light in here. Oh my gosh. So this is my attic. Welcome to where Christmas decor comes to die. Do you think we should take it out and maybe look at it? I think we should take everything out and just show them everything. Oh, let's see. Hold on, let me record and show them Bye. all of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton of stuff. I don't even know what's, let's see. Yeah, I don't even know what's in there. And then I have all these like wreaths and stuff back over here. We're gonna take it all out, find the worst decor, and see how we can recreate it to something that we actually wanna display this year. All right, Liz, I have a question. Yeah. This is a very important question. <laughs> what do you like more, Thanksgiving or Christmas? Just from the simple fact that I have a whole attic dedicated to Christmas, <laughs> probably gonna say Christmas. No. That might be a little I, obvious. I love Christmas. I love it with the kids and it's so fun. So I definitely, I'm a Christmas girl. I mean, Thanksgiving's fun. But here's a fact about me, and I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate comments. I actually don't like Thanksgiving foods. What? I know. My, what? My family thinks I'm crazy. Like, I don't like the traditional Thanksgiving foods. I know. Just leave me hate comments now. It's okay. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm weird. I'm weird. All right, so we were able to take most of the decor out in Annabelle's room. There's uh, one container that's still in the bathroom over there. It doesn't fit through the door, and I just recently repainted her bathroom and I didn't want to mess it up. So that one's gonna be over there. So let's dive in, see what we can find. I'm kind of excited. I don't know about you guys, but I always forget what I have in these tubs, and some of them I haven't looked at in a few years. So we'll kind of see what's in here. Oh, come up here, Moose. Moose wants to join us. I was finding that like some years I'd want to decorate with gold, some years red, some years white. So I just started putting all of my light colored decor into one container. So this is gold decor. So, oh, I have this cute picture of the girls, love that. So we have this tree. I mean, it's cute. I don't know if that's really my style anymore. These white houses are really cute. I like these a lot. These were actually from Target Dollar Spot, but we're kind of on the hunt for not as cute as before. So we're looking for the things that maybe I would not put out and how could we fix them? I got this guy. It's like a whole church. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gold pick. I bought this at Ikea this little plant and I've never used it. I wonder why. Okay, this bucket, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I could do something with this too. I think my problem with this plant is I don't like the color of it. This is that Ikea plant. So I'm going to add in some of that faux snow and then maybe dress it up with some ornaments. And I definitely want to update this container. I'm gonna give this a whole new look. So let's start first with the bucket. I had this old sweater that I actually used to create a wreath a few weeks ago. I'm going to use to wrap around this bucket. 
I'm gonna cut off a piece that's going to be about an inch longer than I need it to be so I can wrap it at the bottom. The bottom of the sweater is going to be at the top of my bucket. I'm just cutting off any of the excess along the edges. Okay, you guys, this spray adhesive is no joke. Anytime you want to attach fabric to something else, this is what you need to use. I found this probably six months ago and I love it. Anytime I do a project with it, it works so good. Next, I'm gonna wrap the fabric around my bucket and then with the excess, I'll tuck it underneath, cutting off any excess that's really gonna stick up and cause me problems and not sit straight. For the plant, I'm gonna use a product called Snowblower and I'm gonna angle down from the top and just add as much or as little as you want. I'm gonna set it in the bucket. Next, I have some white and blue ornaments that I picked up at Hobby Lobby I'm gonna add in. I also found some few pine cones outside just to really dress it up. Use whatever colors make you happy, whatever your decor is this year. This piece truly went from being something that would have stayed up in my attic to something that I cannot wait to sit out this year. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know to do more like it in the future. I know this video is totally different for my channel. Oh, I have this little, actually, I don't think I made this one. It's just a little container. These might be something we could do something with. So these are pillar candles. I bought these at a thrift store. I know I didn't pay $9 for them. I probably paid half price, but they're a five piece candles. The only thing I don't like about them is they're connected and you can see the wires, but I think if you added a garland, you could make those kind of cool. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I could do with these. What do you think guys? Keep them as is, spray paint them. What do you think? <laughs> All right, okay. I haven't done red in a while. So I do have a bunch of red items that I just haven't used. So I have these like Reese. I have two of these. You know what? We did get a question on the Instagram. Someone was wanting to know how you hang your wreaths. So do you have any advice mm. on how to hang wreaths? Yeah, we could show you how to do it. I'll take one of these downstairs and I'll show you how I hang them. Now, if you've tried hanging your wreath with a suction cup and it doesn't work out, here's what you need to do. So put your wreath on a ribbon like this. Then you're gonna hang a command hook at the top of your door upside down. So let me show you. This is my front door. And at the very top of my door, I have a command hook and it's upside down. So I'm gonna open my door. The wreath is going to go on the front and then I'm gonna hook it right here. So let me show you how I do that. And then when you close your door, you're still gonna be able to close it. Yeah, you can see it a little bit, but it's gonna hold up all season. I've done this for a few years now and I haven't had any trouble with it falling off. Okay, so these are Dollar Tree trees. I probably have 50,000 of those. Oh my gosh, all that glitter. These are kind of fun. They're like little boxes, not really my style. They're from Dollar Tree. I never did anything with them. This might be kind of fun to update these. Ooh, what are these black reindeer? Those are fancy. I don't like black for Christmas though, but these could be interesting. So I think with these little black reindeer, I have no idea where I got these from, but I'm thinking about making these into stocking holders. So let's see if we can figure out how to do that. To make these into stocking holders, I grabbed a wood board that I had on hand. It was just a scrap wood board and I'm going to mark where I wanna cut these. Now, while I was at my office DIYing, Chris was nice enough to cut these boards down for me. So he just cut two pieces that were the exact same size. Next, I'm gonna sand down the wood boards. To attach these reindeers to the wood boards, I wanted to use a really strong adhesive. I also used hot glue so that it was instant. And so sometimes I'll combine both glues and I'll just put it in the center of the board. I'll repeat that for both of these. Now I felt like they needed a really 
fun color that made them stand out. So I'm gonna be using this gloss color in Hunter Green, which is a super popular color for this year. And I'm gonna spray two coats. Once I sprayed two coats, I did flip them over and spray the underside as well. But look how awesome these look on my mantle this year as stocking holders. I did use some command strips to just make sure it was extra secure and held down to my mantle. all the houses I was telling you about Delaney. Okay, so I have all of these houses that I've gotten from the thrift store, but they're just not my style. So I was thinking maybe I could update them and make them more current. Now, most of these houses I picked up at Dollar Tree. One of them was from a thrift store, but no matter where your houses are from, I wanted to give them a cohesive look. So I grabbed this metallic spray paint at Walmart. I'm loving this color this season. I sprayed about three coats of spray paint on all of the houses. I flipped them upside down and just made sure they were completely covered. Next to style them, I really wanted to put some Dollar Tree trees around. I added some faux lights and I love the way these look sitting out. I think they would be perfect for my my shelf. There. Oh, there's the red truck. This was probably like two years ago that these were super popular. This is lots of filler decor that I have in here. A lot of like natural style decor. This is stuff I use quite a bit. There's some signs in here. This is like my kids' nativity set that they play with. So one of the people on Instagram wanted to know how your DIY fail project is coming along. I think they were referring to the podcast. Oh yeah. If you guys haven't listened to our podcast, it's so funny. It's like totally different than anything we do. I will share one of my DIY failures and my husband Chris is there and it's kind of funny because he's like reliving the tragedy of that DIY fail. <laughs> I've just been sharing like some of your guys' failure stories and they're hilarious. So if you guys haven't checked it out, it's called DIY Disasters with Liz Fenwick. You can get it on like Spotify, Apple Podcasts. All you have to do is search for it. And I think Delaney always puts it in the description. Box. Yes, it'll be linked in the description box. I have a lot of like red and silver items. Look at all these trees. I don't even use these trees anymore. And all of these pigs. Look at these cute little ornaments. Okay, I would not say these are not cute. If you guys haven't already watched my tree video, I just posted that. The previous video was my tree video. I'm doing like all new decor. All right, so this was a table runner that I used probably three years ago, and it's not really my colors anymore, but I wonder if we could update it and do something with it. This table runner is really cool, and I wanted to reuse this fabric. So I had this idea, it may totally fail, I don't know, but we're gonna use this gold tree, and I'm gonna try to cut strips and wrap them around this tree. So I began by cutting about two inch strips and then I started hot gluing them onto the branches at the bottom. Once I got around once, I cut it off and hot glued it in place. I continued doing this by cutting strips. I was able to cut these really easy. You could do this with any sort of fabric that you had on hand, grab an old sweater, and I'm just going to continue to wrap once around and hot glue it, cutting off any excess. Now the whole look of this is to have the sweater be a little rough and a little frayed. Once I got to the top, I just made sure that I covered up that top portion. And then I moved the fabric around until I liked the way it looked, but here's how it turned out. I absolutely love the way this sweater turned out. Okay, Moose, what's in this one? So this one, we got a charger platter. This one's got a sleigh. I did this not too long ago. These white trees are really cute. I totally forgot about these. I think I could use these. So love these trees. And the look right now is to stack a bunch of like tall trees in a container or a sleigh or something. So I'm gonna update this just a little bit and show you how to style this. 
So for this sleigh, I love the look of the wood, but I wanted to update the base. I had already painted it white, but I was going to add some tissue paper onto it. You can really add any tissue paper you want. This is a fun technique that I like to do with Mod Podge. So just cut off about the size that you're gonna need, then grab any Mod Podge. It doesn't have to be any of the specific types. Then you're gonna put on a thin layer of Mod Podge where you want to attach your paper. Press the paper down, and then I'm gonna tear the paper around the edges. Then I'll go in with some Mod Podge around the edges, and if I had any frayed areas, I'll just push those down. I'm gonna repeat this on the other side as well. It just gives a fun little pattern to your paper, and I love the way it looks. Now, since I wasn't using those white trees, I just stuck those in to style it, and the look right now is to have really tight, compact trees, so that's what I did for this look. If you guys love seeing home decor DIY videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. So this I've had for years. It's got these little like containers up here. It's kind of cool and like these sculptural pieces are really in style right now. So I think we should try to update this. So I'm thinking with this reindeer, I didn't realize that, but these little pieces unscrew. So I'm wondering if I can make this look a little bit more modern. I don't know how I'm gonna fill these, but let's DIY this. So I started by removing those top pieces on the reindeer. I really wanted to make this a tray, but I had to figure out how to make it level because it kind of went at an angle. So I grabbed some bamboo skewers and cut down a piece that I could put in the front. Then I used a construction adhesive style glue to fill it in. I put a plate on top. This wasn't the plate I was gonna use, but it just helped me get it level. And then I let the skewers dry overnight before I moved on to my next step because I wanted it to be really secure. Next, I'm gonna spray two coats of a black spray paint. Now recently I got this product off of Amazon called Rub and Buff and it makes just this really cool antique look. So I'm gonna grab some of that. Now when you put it on, you really want to go lightly with it because it's harder to move this product once it's on there. But I think it just gives a really cool antique look and you can put as little or as much as you want. I finished it off by putting a white plate from Dollar Tree on there that I can use to put out cookies or anything for the holidays. The plate was not glued on. I just sat it on top of the reindeer so that I could take it off and wash it. All right, you guys, comment below and let me know how you think I did on these DIYs. I love knowing your opinion and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.